We're doing a video on dung beetles. Hey, they're super important to farmers. But don't look at me like that, Liza and Georgia. This is Anna's idea. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, dung beetles are the coolest. Dung beetles, belonging to the superfamily Scarabaeoidea, often get a bit of a bum rap when it comes to their importance in the ecosystem. Cattle farming can negatively impact the environment as the digestion process of pastures and the excrement of waste can remove nutrients from the ecosystem. Dung beetles improve nutrient recycling and soil structure by consuming and burying the faeces produced by cattle. It also reduces the likelihood of bush fly breeding. Isn't that awesome? On average, it can be seen and smelled that every animal excretes 20 kilograms of moist dung, 25% of that being dry matter. I'm so dung. <laughs> With the presence of dung beetles, the dung is buried below the surface of the soil, reducing runoff of nutrients and water into our waterways and instead depositing nutrients deep into the soil. There are over 400 species of dung beetles in Australia with each species falling under four main categories to describe how they deal with the dung. These are bull rollers, tunnelers, pad drawers and kleptocoprids, which in case the name didn't give it away, steal dung from other beetles. How rude of them! One easy way that farmers can monitor their dung beetle species and population is through the use of a belt transect, such as this one. In the first quadrat, find dung pads one to two days old that show signs of beetle disturbance. Make sure you approach quietly, as dung beetles are sensitive to vibrations and will quickly descend down into their tunnels. Shovel some dung into a bucket. And add water. Stir well to break up the dung. Dung beetles should float to the top. Count the number of each species present and repeat for the remaining transects. The number of beetles found will vary due to the location of cattle. For example, we found 32 dung beetles in a transect with cattle present and 12 in an area without. That's awesome! Anyways, from this, farmers can decide whether or not they need to introduce new species into their farm's ecosystem. See? I told you they were the coolest! Again, so sorry, but... I'm so glad we're done. Oh. Fun fact, dung beetles navigate using the stars. Thanks for watching.